And especially, you know, having passive income and having investments providing you that cash flow, you won't be in a predicament where you're so afraid to lose your job. And it's great to have an emergency fund, you know, for those that are out there. But just with that emergency fund, if you were to lose your job in most emergency funds, they say save three to six months of expenses. After three to six months, you have to find another job. But if you have investments that are bringing you cash flow, you can find a job whenever you feel like finding another job if you decide to continue to work. There's nothing wrong with working a day job. If you want to stay active, it, you know, <clears throat> that can be another topic too. What's costing you more is, you know, could you make money, more money investing or doing your businesses and trading your time at a job, but right, just right. hitting on that as well. Yeah. And, and like you said, it's that the emergency fund, I believe everybody should always have that stop gap, you know, that three to six months of expenses in there have, have that, you know, either in a money market or somewhere you can easily access it. I'm not going to go all the way to the archaic thinking of saying, hey, you got to have it sitting under your mattress or sitting in a bottle in your room, breaking case of emergencies type deal. But have it somewhere where you can access it in case of emergency happens. That gap right there will save people a long ways. And, and of course, like Alex was explaining, you know, you lose your job and it takes a minute to get another job. I'm not saying sit there and veg out three to six months just because you got an emergency fund. Oh, I ain't got to work for three to six months because I got an emergency fund. Because guess what? When you go back to work, you got to replenish the emergency fund. So have the emergency fund, but, you know, try to hurry up and get back to work to get that three to six months back up there so you have that leeway. So I, I understand what you mean by that. And if And like you said, if people use their money that they work for to buy multiple assets, you know, to eventually – bypass their income uh, on the on the passive side, then it puts itself, they put them in a whole different situation, a whole different situation. Uh, and I'll bring this up right quick. Like, like, as you know, my wife's in the military and then she's, you know, just coming up on retirement. And some of the things that, you know, everybody's asking, oh, what are you going to do? What well, what's next? You got a job lined up? Because of course, and we can go over that. Military overall, it pays decent while you're in, but then you know you do your 20, 25, 30 years. It might pay you 50, 60, 70 percent, depending on how long you stay in past 20 of your income. But in this day and age, for one person, that money will not cover the day-to-day -day lifestyle that they're used to. It'll be exactly about one third of the lifestyle they used to from the time they was in the military because how the pay is structured one third of the lifestyle from when they was in the military to the day they retire it decreases by two thirds and only living off of one third of the income so they always ask you know what you're going to do and then my wife look at them crazy because you know they always tease her and stuff like that like oh why are you not going out there you know yolo you only live once I probably look like a cornball saying all these, saying all these uh, slang sayings, but but you know they they say that the whole time, so they'll make fun of her when she be like, no, you know I'm saving this, investing in this, doing this, and then now her investments has put her in a position where she retires, she don't have to go out there and look for work because the money is flowing from her investments every month paying for the lifestyle that she was used to, like she's still making the same income as in the military, but with less pay now. From, of course, from the military less pay, but that uh, passive income has superseded what she made in the military. So there's no change in the lifestyle dynamic at all. And the big difference, like you said, exchanging time for money. So now instead of her exchanging her time for money, her passive investments and the people that pay into those passive investments, they're exchanging their time for the money that she bring in. And that's a big dynamic that people need to start considering and change their brainwaves of thinking. 